Hey everybody, welcome to Raincross Farms Makery, and we are hosting a segment of Crack Around the Clock today, so we are glad to have you here. My name's Robin, and behind the computer, behind the camera, is my husband Bill. Our little craft studio is located just outside of Lewiston, Idaho, and we love to craft, and we love to go live on Facebook and show you our crafts, and it's our goal to inspire you to do creative things every day. So we hope we can do that. So if you are, I'm sorry, I'm gonna rub my eye. If you are watching live, there'll be a little red box up here that says live. We'd love it if you'd pop on, say hello, let us know you're watching. If the box is not there, you're watching the replay and we are thankful that you're here too. So please comment hashtag replay so we know when you watched. So hello, Patty, both Patties, Patty B and Patty D. Welcome. Hi, Tracy. Welcome, welcome. Let me pull this up on my phone so I'm a little bit closer to the live, a little bit closer to the comments. Where is it? Doop, doop, doop. I think that's it. So, hey, hey, hey. Well, I have to I have to put in a disclaimer. I am I am not crying. <laughs> I have last year I had the worst allergies, hay fever ever, and it, I think they are back. So I have this eye that has been watering and itching all day and I'm trying not to scratch at it because that just makes it worse. So, if you look at this eye, don't think I'm crying or sad. I just have this allergy that we are treating it. Hello, Carolyn from ooh, Alberta, Canada. First time watching. Welcome. We are glad to have you. Thank you so much. We hope you will be interested in following our page so you can see some of our other crafty videos. So if you're if you are live, especially even if you replay, you can do this. We would love it if you would like or love our page. If you would follow our page. If you would share our video out to. Um, your page or a craft group you belong to or just a friend or two that you think might be interested in this. So we would love that. We also have our stars activated and we appreciate all of your support. Hello and Patty says all. All, all because of my allergies. Uh, last year they were debilitating. They were awful and I think how long did it go on like a month where I was just miserable morning to night no matter what I tried finally I finally I went to the doctor and he told me what I should do and and that did seem to help and then I think the pollen or whatever I'm allergic to died down hoping to avoid it this year but it's back so fingers crossed and prayers up that this doesn't get any worse Anyway, tonight's craft, we are going to be making a fun little summer wreath. And this, um, this idea is not original. In fact, my husband, Bill, was scrolling through, what was it, TikTok or Reels or Facebook, something about that. And he, he liked it enough that he forwarded it to me. He goes, this would be cool to do. So when he comes up with an idea, we've got to do it. So guess where I went? I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought a whole bunch of flip-flops. I, I don't know what he thought. I don't know what that checker thought as I'm buying all of these flip-flops. I bought way too many, but I wanted to have a, a selection to choose from. I only need about six pairs, but I think I got, I think I got eight pairs. So. And they're not my size, so I can't wear them if they don't if they don't work out. Wait, anyway, you spent eight dollars. No, I spent ten dollars because they're a dollar twenty-five. Okay, and I am going to attach them to this board. This uh, this was a wooden board. I know I got it at the Dollar Tree, but I got it a long time ago, and I had actually put a design on it. And anyway, I'm done with that design, so I painted over it because this it's not going to show on here and it does have some little holes and I painted over them so let me clip those out so what we're going to do is we are going to start gluing down 
our we're gonna start gluing down our flip flops how many of you okay time for questions inter, audience participation how many of you what what do you wear that's my question what do you wear around the house on your feet what do you wear on your feet around the house? I am generally, I am generally a barefoot, a barefoot person. And if I need shoes on, I generally I put on tennis shoes. I am not a huge flip-flop fan. I think because I'm kind of a klutz and I'm afraid I'm going to trip down the stairs if I'm wearing flip-flops. So tell me, what do you wear when you're at home? When you're at home, what do you wear on your feet? Okay, let me get these separated. Are you a barefoot kind of person? Do you wear, do you wear socks? Do you wear tennis shoes? Do you wear flip flops? Do you wear slippers? Yes, you wear your boots most days. That you do indeed. Okay. I probably should have planned this out earlier, but I was thinking I would do the plainer, the more plain ones on the bottom and the fancier ones on the top. So let's see, let's start. And I'm going to arrange. Three. The planer, the planer, as opposed to, okay, so, does this look okay for our base? And then we're going to come back through, and we are going to put another one over the top. So we will end up with 12. What do you think? I'm going to, I'm going to just start executive decision. I'm going to start. I've got my glue gun. We're just going to glue these down. I'm going to add a good amount of glue. Just hold that down till it sets. Okay. I'm looking for answers to my shoe question. Hey, Claudine, welcome. Got a notice that says you are watching. Get another glue stick ready. I don't even know if these flip flops are any good for actual wearing. Does anybody know? Anybody wear Dollar Tree flip flops? I have a question for you. Yes. Do people call those flip flops or do they call them Zoris? Okay. Or do you have a, a different name for them if you guys call them at your house? Okay. Or does it matter where you live in the country? That could be. Okay, so that'll be the next question. So after you tell me what you wear around your house, tell me what do you call these things? Do you call them flip flops? Do you call them thongs? I think we called them thongs. Okay, Patty wears socks. Patty B wears socks. I don't like it when he says, uh-oh. Oh, it's just, we've been having some, co some uh, pauses in the videos on my phone. So I'm assuming they're having some pauses out there. And now, if you wanted to recreate this and you don't have a, a wooden board, it's just a really thin one. It's not, it's not fancy. It's not heavy. You could do this with just a piece of cardboard. You don't need, you don't need wood. I just happen to have it. And I kind of recycled it from an old, uh, I think it was a Christmas on one side and autumn on the other. Okay. This, we're not watching paint dry. That's what we, we are, we're watching flip flops get flip-flops get glued down. 
Now you could do this with as many or as few as you wanted. So here's our bottom layer. Okay, are our comments frozen? No. Can't believe nobody is. Nobody's saying anything. Well, I said something. You said something. Okay. By the way, your dogs like the show okay. too. Okay, so here's our bottom layer. Now let's see. Uh, which ones do we want to use? Ooh, I think that's a good contrast. Okay. And that, and maybe that, and that. Oops. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we got. Okay. What do we think of that? I think that would be too not bad. Okay, so let me know if you think I should trade any of these out for, here's the other two designs I have. I have these blue and white, and I have this orange and white striped. Does this look good? I'm wondering, you know what, try the, uh, you know the, no, I don't know. Okay, the flamingo, I just like them all. I mean, it's like, I like the flamingo, so I was just wondering if those, Orange ones might work because the flamingo is so close to that teal. Teal underneath it, like that. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it much matters. Mm -hmm. We got um, horizontal stripes and then vertical stripes right next to each other. Does it matter? No. Orange with the funky blues. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna go with it. I we're like not it. we're not going to overthink it. Orange. Good. Orange with the, this funky blue. Those colors do not do these colors justice. <laughs> that is really true. I was trying to figure out how to brighten that up. I told you earlier okay. I did something. They really are much brighter than what we're seeing on the screen. Okay. Let me get We're going through the We're going through the hot glue. Okay. I'm going to Mostly needs it right there. I'm just going to center it in there. So, pretty easy. And just hold that. I don't know. This might make it too bright. Oh, no. Wow. no that, didn't <laughs> that didn't make it that too bright. That didn't work. Okay. Another glue stick. And I'm not I'm not really paying attention which direction the toes are going. It's just gonna kind of be. Hey Cheryl, welcome. Sorry, Cheryl. Oh, I just, and I I read your comment, Sherry, but I didn't say hello. Hello, Sherry. Thanks for your opinion. Let me know what you think. Well, I think I got the color. Okay, our previous question, we've got a few more people on. Our previous question was, what do you wear on your feet when you're at home? Do you wear, do you just wear socks? Do you go barefoot? Do you wear tennis shoes? I have everything turned, oh, can hardly hear me. She can hardly hear me. Is that something you can adjust, Mr. Bill? Is, okay. Is anybody else having trouble hearing me? Let me. Maybe that's why they're not answering any questions because they can't hear me. Can you okay. hear me? Cheryl, let me see if I can make some changes. I'll probably mess it up and everything will go away. Okay. 
as you can see, Cheryl, we are making a flip-flop brief. Fun little door wreath or wall wreath, whatever. Just to celebrate summer. Because our weather is finally starting to warm up. I know a lot of a lot of you are already in the hundreds. Somebody was posting on Facebook yesterday that it was 108 where she was. We are just now warming up. We had a hailstorm on Sunday. <laughs> there we go. That's Is that better? Is that better for everybody? Oh, it's it's quite a bit louder. Everybody okay. probably just had to turn it down. Oh, what sorry. Do? Okay. Well, I'll try not to yell. Okay, first time here. Oh, you keep putting something up in front of it. Slipper socks, my feet are always cold. You can hear me. Good. Yeah, sometimes my feet get cold too, but sometimes I wear socks and sometimes they just annoy me. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't like them when they get loose and kind of flop around. Socks. Okay. So here's our little wreath. I buy her socks every she does. He Christmas. does. He buys me socks. He buys me the kind that are slip Stay resistant. Slip resistant. resistant. And I try and wear them, and sometimes they just annoy me. And then my feet get too hot. You just can't please me. Okay. It's going to be 106 tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So here is, so far, we're not done yet. Here is our, our wreath. What I is that know, cute? Where are you gonna, where are you gonna wear that? Where am I gonna wear it? Yeah. On my head? No, I would. Ordinarily, I'd put. I mean, if I lived in a regular house, I'd put it on the door, maybe the front door. We have a glass front door, well, so I read. could, I could put it on the front door, but you'd see the back of it. Anyway, next thing we're going to do, we're gonna put something in the middle, and this is where I need your. I need your opinions, because I can't decide. Okay, I have this round shape that it's not it's not huge, but it would fit right there. We'll paint it. I'm not quite sure what color we'll paint it, but we'll paint it. And we could transfer on the good life on that. And that could be our center. So that would be the round option. Okay, small round with the good life. Or I have a rectangle, which is a little bigger. And we can put that on there. And what I thought we could put on that from this transfer is the one that says beach, please. And it's got some flip flops and a little shell. Okay, so tell me which you would prefer to see. The rectangle with beach, please. Or the round, a small round with the good life. Okay, so tell me, round or rectangle? And then you we can't will say R. That's true, because they're both R's. Okay, and then I'm gonna be looking at some paste colors to paint that. Cheryl says beach please. Okay, Cheryl likes beach please on the rectangle. Yes, 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 rectangle. Rectangle beach, beach please. please. Okay. We'll wait for a few more votes, but it look it's looking like the rectangle with beach, please. Everybody gets a I was gonna say we we don't live close to the beach. Well, we do because we live right across the street from a river, and a river kind of has a beach. It's just not like the ocean beach. Okay, so it looks like it looks like rectangle. I am good with that. Now to paste it, I was thinking that I love this Tide. This kind of reminds me of, of water. Do I want to do Tide? Do you have another suggestion, Mr. Bill? I'm looking at what it looks like with the, you know what, I'm going to go to overhead. Okay. I think that's a good, oh, I hate to do this to you. What? But I think you ought to do an ombre between 
that and something bright. Um, I don't think Bumblebee would do it. I think... Um, well, it's easier to do an ombre with a transfer. So I could do, I could do the, well, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do a Let's solid color. Tide. Okay. Is Tide okay? Tide let's, is okay with me. Let's do Tide. Okay. Let me put this aside. Okay. This is not super duper heavy. And get a board to paint on. And we are just going to use our chalk paste to paint. We're going to use it as paint. And I'm not going to do the back because it's going to get glued down. But I'm going to take some of our chalk paste. This is chalk in paste form. That, you know what? That picture looks very, very blue. And this is really, really a turquoise. Yeah, but that just might be saturation. that just might be my tip my TV. No, no, it's, no. it's um okay. It's like so I've got some paste. Paste is thicker than paint. That's more cheap. So I want to thin it down. So I've got uh, distilled water in my spray bottle. So I'm just going to spray that a little bit and thin this down, and then we will paint our surface and dry it up and Chalk on our design. Wow, we have 10 people. That is awesome. Okay, my the second question that we asked. What do you call these? These do you call them flip-flops? Do you call them zoris? Do you call them thongs? What do you call them? Tell me what you call them. Okay, so I've got that thinned down. Let me get a paintbrush. And I'm going to start with just touching the edges. I'm not worried about the back. Okay, these, this rectangle shape, you can sometimes get um, signs from the Dollar Tree that are roughly this shape. That would be perfect. This happens to be one that I sell in my shop. It's a simple shapes rectangle, and you get two of them in a pack, and they, they're pretty awesome. But like I said, sometimes Dollar Tree has uh, signs, not so much. Sometimes they have unfinished wood in this shape, but look at some of their seasonal signs, and you can always paint over any of those decorations and use use it just as a, a board or if you don't want to mess with that you can buy one of mine okay and let's do the front now I put I put distilled water in this because if I have any extra left over that I don't use I can put it right back in the jar and I won't have to worry about anything growing in my jar because I've used pure water. Even bottled water can have impurities or uh, not chemicals, but yeah, chemicals or minerals that can sometimes react to the paste Okay, I, I'm hoping you can actually see the true color of this because this is a very pretty turquoise and it's really looking blue. Not that blue is not pretty. Okay. Um, you gotta read what said. Flip floppers. <laughs> or if I wear them, they're called my fall the stairs shoes. Yes, that's what I'm so worried about is misstepping on the stairs when I'm wearing flip-flops or slippers. Okay, this is, I'm gonna put a second coat on, but in the meantime, I'm gonna dry this before I put the second coat on. I'm gonna play with the colors, so don't make fun of me too much. Okay, what does anybody else call them? I'm gonna start calling them flip-floppers. I don't know if I even own any flip-flops, 
Growing up, we called them thongs. I don't know why, because maybe they go between your toes. I don't know. Okay, so I'm not using my normal quick dry tool. I'm using my embossing gun. I just want to really zap this and I've had so many, so many lives where you're watching paint dry and I thought maybe I'd try to give you a break, but this, this dries that up really quickly, that high heat. I would not use that anywhere near my transfers though. That would melt them. Okay. Now I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried about getting an absolutely perfect finish on this. Can be a little streaky and I may even I may even rough up the edges because I like to do that what does your boy call those things flippity jibs flippity jibs my son calls them flippity jibs I just remembered that do any of you call them flippity jibs <laughs> Do the generator. Okay, so there's the second coat. I'm going to stick that in some water. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to dry this again. Okay, if you are interested, if you're interested, the transfers that I'm using tonight, and I wasn't sure because I, I couldn't decide, so I was always going to have you guys vote. So I put both of them in a cart length, both surfaces, either the, rec the Simple Shapes rectangle or the circle that I showed you, and the Good Life transfer. It's got a couple of different designs, sit down and stay a while, it's so good to be home, the Good Life, a couple others. So I put this in the cart length, and I also put this one in the cart link. This one has four bigger designs. Keep palm and carry on like a palm tree. Beach, please. Anything is popsicle. And shell, yeah. I debated using that, but it's a little cursy. So what was the keyword? Oh, the keyword is reef. W R E A T H Reef. Okay, so let me get this dry and we're going to sand it a bit. Some of my edges are still wet. Okay. Some of my edges are a little chunky. Wipe off those edges. Okay, next. Next, I'm going to take my sanding block, my well used sanding block from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to lightly go over the surface just because anytime you paint wood, it raises the grain a bit. So this is just going to take that down. It's kind of going to distress that paint a bit. And now I'm going to just get a little bit of that paint off the edges. So that some of the wood underneath shows through. I like these boards that we have because you can sand all the white off and then you have a pretty wood color, a brown color underneath if you wanted to if you wanted to sand that much. Okay. So that is sanded. I'm going to take just a dry paper towel, get off all of that sanding dust. Set that aside. And because this is freshly painted wood, and I'm going to put a sticky transfer on top of it, 
I don't want the transfer to pull up the paste that I just put down. So I'm going to wax this. So this is my surface wax I sell in my shop. It's just a clear paste wax. And I'm just going to use this paper towel. You could use a microfiber cloth or just a regular towel, but I'm just going to use a paper towel and I'm going to put just a thin layer of this wax. This will protect this surface so the sticky transfer won't stick to it so tightly that, that I pull up the paint. And I put a thin layer on and I'm going to find a clean spot and I'm going to buff Buff the, any excess off because I don't want too much wax or my paste won't stick. Okay. I like that. It's not a super solid surface. It'll look good. Okay. So, nice and smooth. And... Let me get this transfer out. This is called this transfer is called Shell Yeah. And again, there's four four parts to it. So I'm going to this size transfer, I'm just going to completely cut it apart. Sometimes I like to keep the backer sheet whole. But on this size, I'm going to I'm going to just cut it apart. put these other three away for another day. All of these fit on these um, simple shapes rectangles and what's awesome is they're they're two-sided so and you get two in a pack so you buy a pack of these and this transfer and you can you can use all four of these. You've got a surface for all four of them if you use front and back. Okay now I'm going to fuzz this meaning I'm going to tone down the stickiness. This is the first time I've used this one, so it's really, really sticky. And I want to ease up some of that stickiness, so I'm putting just a little, a fine layer of lint on it, so it's a little less sticky. Okay, so how many of you have, have shared our video? If you haven't, if you haven't, think of somebody that you know that likes to craft and that likes the beach and tag them in this. Share it to their page. You can do that by just clicking that little share. It's an arrow, it's a little curved arrow. Okay, so I've got beach, please. And I think I'm going to do this in a couple of colors. I think I'm going to do yellow. And I'm going to pull out our coral. And... I got another question. How about, how about our, our, our teal? Um, yes. What's your question? Okay, let's use these how colors. Many shoes, approximately how many pairs of shoes do you actually own? Okay, he's asking how many how pairs, many of, pairs shoes? of shoes do you actually own? You see, I've got six pairs, including my water socks. And they're all the same. <laughs> well, three of them are the same. Then I have a brown pair of, of um, tennis shoes and a black okay so this is our chalk paste it is chalk in paste form it's water soluble it's non-toxic and it is semi-permanent so you could take it off of this surface especially since we've waxed it so i'm just going to do beach please in this yellow this is bumblebee yellow so it's a really bright yellow so i'm going to put a little bit of paste on my squeegee and I'm going to drag it across. And I'm going to spin this around. Cheryl says two. Two pairs of shoes? Yeah, and I oh said my at goodness. a time. At a time. 
I probably have. Oh, Jerry said the same thing. I probably have twenty. Oh, I, I don't know. Between I, I gave up looking. Well, because because we live where it snows, I have winter shoes and I have summer shoes and. Okay, I don't want this paste to dry in the screen, so before I'm finished, I'm going to peel. It's called paste and peel. So I'm going to peel off where I have just pasted. So I'm releasing it from the screen so it won't dry in the screen. It is going to dry on the surface. And I'm just going to hit it with my dryer. I'm not going to push that part back down. And I'm going to pull up this section. Pretty. So I, like, she only has two. I believe you. I believe you. I'm I am proud of you. I well, okay, I probably have 20 pairs of shoes, but I have only bought like in the last three years, I think well that's not true, because I bought boots when we moved up here. I don't buy shoes very often. I might buy two pairs a year. But when we did move up here, I did have to get some. I did have to get some. Patty uh, says she wears braces. Patty, I wear braces on both ankles. That's why I wear boots all the time. Yes, he does. He has he has ankle issues. Okay. Um, I think I was going to do. I think I'm going to do the coral on the flip flops, and then I'm going to do the the light teal on these shells. Just give it a little bit of color. Hopefully these are colors that we have used in our flip-flops. So apply this on. Do I have enough time? I think I do. I think I do. And I'm going to quickly do this teal down here before my paste dries. Okay. Got the shells done, so let's peel and reveal. Okay, that's why I wear boots all the time. There we go. Ooh, Ooh, hoo -hoo. I like that. I like those colors. Nice that is one thing I do like. Their colors, the colors that, that this company carries work very well together. Okay, so let me get this dry, and let's see how long I have. I actually got a pink dot. I didn't mean to do a pink dot, that's okay. Okay, let me clean up here. out of the way clean up as you go then you don't have a huge mess so there's our there's our sign let's grab our let's grab our wreath and let's see where we're going to put this okay what do we want to be the top I don't, I don't like what that one's doing, so that one's going to be the bottom. Okay. What do we think? Do we want it? You know what? Yeah, I was going to say, say tip it, it that way. That, give it that, you know, 7% turn or something. Okay. Okay. So, let me get... Let's see. You're done good, girly. I'm going to do some glue there. I'm going to do some glue all around here. I'm going to do some glue here. 
and push that down till it sets. Think I like it. Okay, feels good. This this the foam it glues up pretty well. Okay, so here we go. Here is here is our wreath. Now a couple of things you could do. You could put you could get some nautical rope and outline this if you wanted to. You don't have to. But I like that touch. You could Use nautical rope to outline it. Or you could get a big old bow and put a bow a like down bow. at the bottom. This is what I like using when I need a great big bow, but I don't want to mess with ribbon, is they sell these little infinity scarves at the Dollar Tree. Now, I probably wouldn't use this because this is just too much color. But you can use this as a, as a bow. You can kind of... Fold it up. You could cut it apart so it's one long string. You can you can kind of make a that makes a good size bow. So that's something you could do to hang this. You can either attach something to the wood on the back, or you can just loop something around one of these little toe toe doohickeys Doohickey. on the flip flop. So. I'm going to decide later if I'm going to add any other embellishments to it. If you want to see what I decide, I will post this finished piece tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean up our transfers. These are meant to be reusable, and so you can get, guaranteed, you can get 10 to 12 uses out of them. But if you clean them up regularly and thoroughly, you can get more uses out of them. So I start with just water. It doesn't have to be distilled water. And I use a either a paper towel or this is a called a Swedish dishcloth. And I take this and I just start to get that top layer of paste off. And these are very highly pigmented pastes. So it's actually going to stain the transfer, but that that does not damage its effectiveness at all. So next I'm going to switch over to a board eraser, which is like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals in it. And this is going to get off as much of that paste as is going to come off that's not stained. And it's also pulling it out of that, out of that screen. And then it always traps in the bottom, so you turn it over, you do the same thing. Spray with water, board eraser, to clean out that screen. And we're also removing any of that lint that we, that we originally put on our transfer. Okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna let it air dry, and then I'll put it back on its backer sheet and put it back in its little cellophane sleeve until the next time we're ready to use it. So that's that. If you are interested in the designs or supplies that we used, again, you can comment wreath. But here is our project tonight, our flip-flop wreath. And I'm gonna pose so I get a decent thumbnail. Okay, I think that will do it. Thank you so much for watching, those of you that stuck on till the very end. And thank you so much to Craft Around the Clock for allowing us to host this segment. We'll be back on again next week. I believe next week is tie-dye theme week. So come and see what we have planned. And up next after me is Fox and Smocks. So be sure to catch her and see what crafty goodness she's doing. And we'd love it again if you'd follow our page and catch us on some of our other lives at other times when you're not watching Craft Around the Clock. But have a great day and beach please do something creative every day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.